to take us out today, we have Mr. Gordon Kennedy doing the address to a haggis. Ah. Hey. Off you go, Gordon. Fair far, your honest sonsy face, great chieftain o' oh, the pudding race. Aboon them all ye tack your place, pinch, tripe, or thern. Weel are ye worthy o' oh, a grace as lang as my arm. The groaning trencher, there ye fill, your herdies like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores your dews distill like amber bead. His knife see rustic labour dight, and cut ye up with ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like only ditch. Then, oh, what a glorious sight. Warm, reeking, rich. Then horn for horn, they stretch and strive. They'll take the hindmost on the drive till all their wheel swallowed kites believe are bent like drums. Then, old good man may slight to reeve, bethank it, hums. Is there our his French ragout or oleo? would star a sou, or fricassee would make her spew with perfect scunner, looks down with sneering, scornful view on sick a dinner, poor devil, see him, our is trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindled shank a good whiplash, his neve a knit, through bloody flooder field to dash, oh how unfit, but mark the rustic, Haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, clapping his wheelie neve a blade. He'll muck it whistle, and legs and arms and heads will sned like taps or thistle. Ye powers, while make mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare, all Scotland wants nae skinkin' wear that jops in luggies. But if ye wish her grateful prayer, gee her a haggis! Just when you're smiling